All right, today, look what I just got in the mail. I got this from Amazon. I had, uh, I was one of the fortunate enough people to actually pre-order this item, and I'm glad I did because I got it today, the day it came out, and it's already sold out and back ordered on Amazon and everywhere else you look. But so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna do an unboxing, I'm gonna do a review, and then I will do an actual test drive to see how this new Star Wars BB-8 droid works. Now, like I said before, I got this off Amazon. There'll be an affiliate link in the description and you can click on that, go there. And even though they're out of them right now, they're back ordered, if you were to go and order them, you probably still will get one in the next couple of weeks. And I would do that because people are already trying to charge, you know, two to $300 for this thing. You know, for the people that don't want to wait or that weren't fortunate enough to get one today. And on Amazon, they're 150 plus free shipping. You can check out that affiliate link. If you do click it, I will get, I will get a slight kickback. So just letting you know that. But you're not in any way have to click that link. If you can find it at a better deal, better price, then by all means, go do that. The thing with this uh, BB-8 droid is this will appear in the new Star Wars movie, uh, The Force Awakens. The way I look at it now is like the, the movie's going to come out in November and the kids that don't know about this droid, remote control droid right now, they will definitely know about it come November when they watch the movie and they're going to want one for Christmas. So I'm thinking if this thing's going for two to $300 now, you know, and if you don't by chance pick it up for $150, that come Christmas time, this thing probably could be going for three to five hundred dollars. You know, and think of how many people are buying this thing and they're not even gonna open it. They're just keeping it as a collector's item because it's Star Wars and Star Wars has a pretty good run of collector's items. So I would highly recommend you if you want to get this, get this as soon as possible. And let's let's open it up, see what's in this box. So it is it is a nice box. You can see it tells all the things it does on the side. Okay, you open it up and you have a little lid that lifts up so you can see you open this this comes right out and this looks like it's a uh, it says it's app enabled so you can you can uh, you can control this with your iPhone or Android phone you can just download the app the app is free put this to the side and so you see what we have here so you take this off See, we have the base, it'll come out. Here's the base that it will sit in. And we take the little droid out. He is, he is tiny, this thing's probably only about four to five inches. I'm gonna break it, taking it out. Okay, see, the, the droid comes into two pieces, the ball itself and the head, the magnetic head that comes with it and this will place in here when you charge it okay opening the rest of this box see what else is in here and I have a little deal right here that comes let's see what this does take the whole thing out that's just the holder then here I'm guessing this is going to be the charger yeah Okay, so this looks like we're going to be charging this with the USB connected to your computer or laptop. And it comes with instructions. Okay, so that's everything that comes in the box. Let me get this thing charged up and we'll take it for a test run. Okay, to charge your BB-8 droid, you have your base. You have your USB connector. Go ahead, connect this in to the computer and you'll see on your base you have a little plug right here. Connect that in there. And now, if you look closely right here, that, that's the reset button. So, when you first take your droid and put it on there, it lights up and you'll see 
right here is supposedly charging, but the first time you do this, it may not actually be charging. So what I recommend doing is every time you set it to charge, go ahead and press this reset button. See how it lights up? And now, boom, now it's for sure charging. So it takes about three hours to do a full charge. And once this thing is fully charged, it will last about an hour. And when the battery starts getting low, the, the bottom ball actually starts turning red and blinking when your battery's almost up. And that lets you know that it's time to recharge your BB-8 droid. And as you can see, when he's, when he's sitting there charging, he's all looking around, learning his surroundings. He's hearing my voice right now. You know, he's just figuring things out. It's kind of cool. It's, it's almost like he's actually alive. It's really cool. He's just looking around, checking things out, getting his charge on, ready for his next adventure with you. While your BB-8 droid is being charged, go ahead and download the app for your iPhone or Android phone. It's a free app and this is what you'll use to control the BB-8 droid. Now after you downloaded the app, go ahead to your settings of your phone and make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. So once you have your BB-8 droid charged, and you have the app downloaded, go ahead and start your app. So first thing it's doing, it's syncing your phone with the Bluetooth to your droid. Boom, now your droid is ready to go. So as you can see on this app, you have the option to drive your BB-8 droid and you can drive it manually with the control pad on this app or you can actually do voice commands. The other option it gives you is you could do the message. You know, it comes with a pre-recorded message or you can you record your own message. The thing with the message is, is you will only see the message on your iPad or iPhone or Android phone. You won't actually, you, it won't be projecting on a wall like it shows in the ad, which is a little misleading. And then the next thing you do is you could do patrol. So what you do is you could put this on patrol, put it on the ground, and your BB-8 droid will just move around and learn your area. So then you got your settings thing. So, so let me see, like, so when you press, when you press the message, this is, this is the pre-recorded message. Like you can record your message here. You press this to play the message. So it's playing a message. But like I said, you only see the message on your phone. You don't actually see it projecting on the wall like it says. Okay, here's one thing about the app is you have to go to the settings. So go to your settings. So when you're in your settings, you, get, you can go to the next page and you see the firmware update. So go to the next page. And so this is the first thing you should do when you first operate your droid is press force firmware update. And what this will do is it will give it the newest update that will fix any of the problems that they've had. And after you do this, then you can go back and you can turn on the voice recognition if you want. If you do turn on the voice recognition, it's gonna ask you to do a tutorial. And you, you watch the tutorial, then you'll be able to use voice recognition. But that's one of the first things you should do when you start the app. Okay, if you wanna drive your unit, you just press the drive part of the app. And so the first thing you have to do is you have to get the blue light facing you. So this is your control pad over here. And this right here, so you do this, so, and you look on the ball, there's a blue light. So you move that blue light till it's facing you. So once it's facing you, now you know that this will be this, this way, this will be this way, this will be this way, this will be this. So you just calibrated it. So now you're ready to put him on the floor and drive him around. Okay, in the description of my video, I have a link to the actual BB-8 manual that is found online. It doesn't come with one. It comes with brief instructions in the box, but you can find more detailed stuff and troubleshooting in the actual manual. So you can go ahead and click on that manual. But let me answer a couple of the questions right now 
that uh, people want to know is like how fast does the BB-8 go? And it says it basically goes 7.2 feet per second or close to 5 miles per hour. Another question they have is the BB-8 waterproof and it says that it has a waterproof body and water resistant head. What is the range of the BB-8? It says the range to control obviously depends on the Bluetooth of your phone but it should you should be able to control the BB-8 up to a hundred meters which is which is pretty good. Now it, one, of the, one of the questions also is how do you use uh, voice commands? So you can use voice commands with your droid anytime except when it's when it's playing back a holographic message. So to get your droid's attention you have to say OK BB-8 and then tell it what to do and it will do it. And if there's any other questions that you might have, like I said, go ahead and check the online manual and they should answer most of the questions. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them and I will reply back to the majority of them when I can and try to help you out. You really should get one of these. These things are, are crazy fun. You know, and this, this is from a guy in his 40s. I can only imagine like a five, six, seven, eight year old kid who's a big Star Wars fan playing with these things.